let's graph circles. And so when we're graphing circles, what we want to be able to do is take our standard form equation, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And we want to find our center point, which is at hk, and our radius, which is r. So when we have these points, we then just go to hk and plot the center of our circle, and then use r to come up with the other points that we need for our circle. So let's suppose that we have x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 16. Well, we know that we're comparing this to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So I can look very quickly, and I notice right here, I need to change my signs, my h is equal to negative 3. So this is x minus a minus 3 squared. My k, on the other hand, since the signs match, k is a positive 2. And since r squared equals 16, r has to equal 4. So we go to draw our graph, and we go backwards 3 and up 2. So this point right here is our center point, which is at hk, or minus 3, 2. Then we just move our radius, 1, 2, 3, 4, up, 1, 2, 3, 4, to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you'll notice that because my tick marks aren't perfect, my circle's not perfect, but that'll give me an idea of the circle. And if I were doing this on a grid, it would be easier, or on a computer program. We usually just need to do the center point, and then one point, and go draw in the rest of the circle for us. As another example, x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 49. So again, this is my h, becomes positive 5. My k, take that positive 2 and change the sign to a negative 2. And my r is the square root of 49, which is 7. So I start, let's make that a little straighter, at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 2. There's my center point. And we're going to go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Notice these are all from the center point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there's our really ugly circle. But the important part is that we get our center point at 5, negative 2. And that we then just add 7 in each of the directions. So this becomes 12, negative 2. This is 5, 5. This is negative 2, negative 2. And this is 5, negative 9. For that point, that point, that point, and that point. With those four points, we can then draw our circle. And we are done graphing our circle.